Uh, you look spectacular, as I would have expected. Thank you, so do you. Thank you. Now, I, I, I love seeing your movies. I think you're like a proper movie star, OK? In that you can act, but you've got this kind of... this look about you which is, which is not like normal people. Do you know what I'm saying there? Not really. No, no. because is you're... That good? You, that... Yes, it's a good thing. You, you've got a great face for movies. You look... Oh. I mean, you're a beautiful woman, but you're kind of a weird-looking beautiful woman. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, I'm mean, gonna take it as a compliment. Yeah, because you've got like a movie star's face. Thank you. Because I suppose there's not much I you can think. say back. No, to I mean there's not really. Yeah, so yeah. Do you, you can act as well. No, I don't. Yeah, you do because you look like Johnny Depp because you've got the beard. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can go now. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> um, is there an exciting time for you? It must be. I would have thought because I, I know when you first came out, some people were not sniffy about you, but they were kind of less receptive to you as an actress than they are now. Now it's like. I think it's fair to say they were sniffy. I mean, okay. you know, yes, Which, but it's, it's really nice because this film's being received really well, so that's good. Yeah, but, but I didn't ask, because the first film I saw you in uh, Bennett Like Beckham, and I enjoyed the movie very much indeed, and I thought your performance and all the performances were very good. Good, thank I you. I really enjoyed it. But were people... Well, no, I think people said... I think wooden was the word that was used a lot. Which is fair enough. But do you, you know? think it was fair enough? Do you think it was a wooden performance? I don't know. I've only seen it once. Um, it, I, I don't know. I was 16. It could have been. I don't think it was. I thought it was a really? good performance. Okay. Yeah, I enjoyed and seeing it. I not always think I overdo things as opposed to underdo them. But what maybe you mean, I'm, as I'm, a performer. Yeah. Okay. So you would have been. You would have thought they would have said you were too big. Yes, rather than, rather yeah. than wooden. Did it bother you getting reviews like that early on? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think it's fine. I mean, it, it, it is. It's very weird. And I seem to have a homing device for bad reviews. It doesn't matter where I am, I'll find them. I've Do never seen a good one, actually. Well, that's, that surprises me, because there have been many. Well, that's good. Yeah, and there have been some very good, view, glowing reviews on the new movie, and deservedly so, because your performance in it and the work you do with James McAvoy, he's terrific as well. I he's think amazing, isn't he? Great performances, the two of you together. Thank you very much. Um, but uh, do people ever bring you reviews that they think are good reviews, or they think you're going to like and say, read this, and it turns out to be yeah, not that awful. way? Or they just go, God, have you seen this? And it'll be the worst sort of thing in the world, and just say that you're disgusting. It's, it's always thing. nice when people do that, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it never happens, I only get good reviews. <laughs> <laughs> you get followed around a lot, don't you? I know. I do. Does it bother you though that level of attention? I mean, is there anything you can do about that when you go out, or do you just accept it and, and understand it goes with the territory? And I, I don't deal with it very well. No. What do you do? Um, cry a lot. I shouldn't admit that, should I? Probably. No, I, I find it very frightening. Um, I do, and uh, and it is very difficult to get outside your front door with lots of men. And how, how often are people outside your front door? How often do you find that? Um, I mean, more or less somebody every day, but, you know, it's, it's normally about five guys. Look, I'm shaking, actually, talking about it. It's no, really weird. No, I, actually I, have I understand a physical it must be a horrible thing, because I'm a, a big, unattractive, hairy guy, and when I get out, and I, occasionally, not very often, someone will want to photograph me, I, and I find it really kind of intrusive and unpleasant, and, yeah. and I get quite cross. I mean, I, yes, yes, all of those things. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's, it's particularly scary when you're in a car and they're following in cars, because they do, like they did this morning, they were jumping red lights. And, and if you're in a car that's sort of, you know, if it's a minicab driver, for example, and, and they don't really know, then, then they get really freaked out that they're being followed, so they speed up. So you're suddenly in this sort of high-speed chase, and the guy's not looking out the front, he's looking in the mirror because people are chasing him, and then you think, OK, it's one kid that needs to come out. Out here and that's awful so so from that yeah I mean it's scary uh, uh, and I guess it's pretty much like that all over the world for you because the Pirates movie being so big it, well all everywhere yeah uh, you're famous everywhere I guess yeah yeah I went yes no I went to Bhutan recently and I wasn't famous there they weren't interested at all so, <laughs> which is lovely Bhutan for your holidays Bhutan, from now I'm on. going there all the time okay. yeah uh, <laughs> before we talk more about atonement and I want to talk about that a bit more let's talk about the Pirates movies because they have just been huge and I would have thought in advance of the first one coming out and being a hit, yeah. it wouldn't necessarily have been predicted to, to be that no, big. No, people laughed at me. Whenever I said I was doing a, a movie based on a Disney theme park ride, no, my friends just laughed. Yeah, which was understandable, really. Um, so, no, no, no one thought it was going to be any good. And pirate films weren't really in vogue, were they? No, I, mean, no, I don't think they'd worked for about 50 years. Yeah, not so for a no. while. I love yeah. a pirate movie. I love these pirate movies. Uh, how much of your life did you spend making those movies? Well, the first one took about five months, and then the second two we were on for two years. So a long time. I haven't actually seen the third one yet. You haven't watched it? No, I was working when it came out, so I haven't actually seen it. Uh, they, well, they're great fun. I mean, you oh, know, good. I've seen it with the whole family. It, uh, it's hard to work out in the third one sometimes what's going on, I must admit. It's a bit right. kind of, you know, not, not your scenes, but I didn't quite work out what was going on at times with, uh, with Johnny Depp. I think he goes mad at one stage. But Possibly. he's so charming to watch on screen, you can't help but enjoy him. Yeah. And he must be, I would have thought, great fun to work yeah, with. Yeah, he's amazing. I mean, it was amazing in seeing him create that character, because certainly in the first one, no one thought that it would work. We were all sort of watching him going, OK, mate, you're right. Because it's this kind of it's, swaggering weird... Yeah, it's crazy. It's completely crazy. And it read on, on, in the script completely straight, so it was totally his creation, which was amazing. Um, yeah, and he's wicked. And I think somebody, a performer that can really 
take the bull by the horns and go for it is really impressive. Yeah. He's, well, I, I, once again, when he's performing like that, do you, are you, do you stand and watch and enjoy him? Or when you're in a scene like that, do you have to try not to relax into it like that? He's very kind and he doesn't do quite as much when he's off camera. Because otherwise, I mean, it did get to the point when everybody was just pissing themselves yeah. laughing because you can't not. It's a very funny performance. It's a very funny performance. Um, was the swashbuckling fun to do? Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And is yeah. there a lot of learning that goes on? You had to learn to sword fight and yeah, do that yeah. kind of thing? Yeah, I did a lot of training for that. Um, didn't get any in the first one and I was really pissed off, so they gave me lots in the second and the third. Yeah, a lot more. I mean, you've got, yeah. and your, your role is more interesting and it's more kind of pivotal the film in the later ones. Again, I haven't seen the third, so I'm going to take your word for that, but yes. Do you not like watching yourself on screen then? No. No. Why not? It's weird. Uh, no, I can understand why anyone would have a problem seeing themselves that big. It would be because suddenly you scrutinise yourself and you would see things about yourself that we would notice that perhaps yeah. you don't like and that would be... Yeah, no, I just think I can... I just don't think it's very good most of the time. So I just sort of watch the wheels turn and think, oh, why did you do it like that? And what, you're analysing your performance yeah, as well? Yeah, I can't watch it without analysing it. It's the same thing as hearing yourself on the phone. You know, you always go, oh, don't sound like that. It's exactly the same thing. Do you have a posh phone voice you use occasionally when dealing with, say, credit card people or yes. uh, if you were to phone uh, Debenhams? Yes. It sounds a little bit like the one in Atonement. OK. It's a kind of like that book. Very, very clipped. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love uh, the period that Atonement is setting. Obviously, it was a great change and there was a war going on, which, which yeah. was, you know, not pleasant for anyone. But there's something so exciting and dramatic about that period. Yeah. And also the way the country looked back then. Did yeah. you find yourself feeling nostalgic even though you weren't alive then? But for I that kind of... I definitely wasn't alive. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's an amazing period. I mean, I, I thought it was really interesting because we were trying to go back to this sort of 1930s, 1940s style of acting. So it is that very, very clipped voice and it's sort of, it's the pinnacle of the stiff upper lip, which yeah. I really enjoyed. And, and of course the clothes and the style of that period yeah, are quite great. remarkable and, and you look fabulous in the many gowns that they've sewn you into there. Thank you very much. Uh, is that part of the appeal for, of making movies being allowed to take on that role of someone else? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's it. That's, that's kind of what it's about. It's about sort of changing, and, and that's what I love. And I love, like, the co I mean, the costumes from this, from a completely girly standpoint, you just go, it's yeah. glamorous, isn't well, it? That, how often do you get to dress like that? Yeah, okay. right, yeah. Okay. I'm trying the yeah, swim yeah. hat vibe. Uh, <laughs> now, now, like me, I know you've struggled with your weight over the years, and uh, people yes, are always shrinking. accusing me of being anorexic. They always accuse me of things which I'm not. So I'm just, that I'm just naturally slender. But that must drive you nuts because it's all the time in the papers people picking on you for your weight. It is really difficult, and I don't think men get get it as much as women. I mean, I think it, it's it, it it is it is very hard. Men to don't take. get it at all, really. Men don't. No, no. no. I mean, and. It well, Simon gets it a lot. <laughs> from you, he gets huh? it. Yeah, but he likes it from oh, me. Okay. We've got one of those abusive, you know, father-son relationships. Oh, that's nice. That's very You are nice. like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> how, how am I like your dad? Bearded, big. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Get <Yeah>. to bed! <laughs> um, how much can we give away about the film? Because uh, it's, uh, there are many plot revelations and twists and turns that you can't really talk about without spoiling experience. No, it's people. true. I don't know. It's I mean, a, it's, a, it's a love story, essentially. At the it's a love it. story, and it's about two people that are torn apart by a lie. Does that give anything away? But it's kind of not a malicious lie as such, is it? It's a, well, well, we shouldn't go into that. Isn't it? I don't know, is it? I don't know. You I think probably that's... haven't watched it, have you? No, I have watched it. I've oh, you watched this, this one? Yeah, 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 I've got this How one. do you think the people in the Pirates movie feel when they hear this? You didn't bother going to see that. <laughs> I tried to. What do you mean you tried to? I was to? working. It was at the, the cinema for the months and months and years. Well, I was working for that whole months and months and years that it was on. So, so <laughs> when you watch this, when you get caught up in this film, once again, I, and I, I get the feeling this is a performance you're proud of and deservedly so, are you as critical of this as you are some of your other Definitely. performances? Definitely, I am as critical. Um, but and I, I'm only in about a third of it, so I can enjoy the rest of it, which is helpful. Um, so you enjoy the scenes you're, you're not, not in more? Yeah. I guess you yeah. relax more, then. Yeah. Do you think uh, people, all actors, feel that way, or do you think some just have more of a, a, that kind of attitude, or do you I think you, just, you lose it over time and you get used Johnny to it? Johnny Depp doesn't watch a lot of his films, so I guess he has it. But I don't know. Do they, ha do they have it? Oh, let's not care. Who let's cares not, about those today? They, they, they're, they're not yeah, in your let class here. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Adam, time. do you like watching yourself on screen? I can't stop watching this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Simon these questions earlier, so this is not me being in any way lecherous or sexist. But are you comfortable being naked? You are being quite lecherous. No, not quite. at all. A no, bit. because you have to be semi nudy in the film. Um, y yes, I have thought you had a big picture of me standing up there. With no, we haven't got any naked Good, pictures. Good, thank you very much. We've um, God knows we looked. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's quite embarrassing. 
there were a lot of people there that day. And, um, and do you think, I mean, is it the day when you, you know you didn't that scene, suddenly there seemed to be more electricians on the set? And, uh, yeah, uh, we did, we, talking about paparazzi, we did have a lot of paparazzi trying to get into the bushes that day. So there were a lot of security men in the bushes and you'd suddenly see these men with cameras being dragged out. Uh, a film like that, you're, you're going around the world, you're talking about it, you're going to festivals with it. It's obviously something you're, you're very proud of. Yeah, definitely. Is it a deliberate choice in your part that you do a movie like that, a kind of, you know, a more serious movie, a yeah. movie with, with that intent, uh, in between doing films like the Pirates of the Caribbean movie and is your next movie going to be lighter hearted? Do you balance it that way? Um, I try to balance it that way. Um, yeah, I mean, one, once I'd done sort of two years on the Pirates films, I sort of really needed to do something that was very different and they were great but it must be a different sort of acting yeah i mean it is it's completely different you know the, the pirates films you're kind of like an action figure which is lovely but it, it's really nice to do something that's sort of emotionally way more involving when you make one like atonement that's when you're going into uh is it harder work i know that might sound stupid but is it physically harder work because you're emotionally giving something during the daytime or I think is it it's, it's very rewarding because actually if, if you do I'm going to sound like such a wanker. If you do feel very drained emotionally, then you know that you've kind of done a good job. Yeah, but no, I, 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 I understand because when I see people on stage, and I'm not a big theatre goer, but when I see a, a tremendous performance on stage, I think that must be exhausting because it's yeah. kind of, they're going through all this angst for your pleasure. I think that's kind of what most actors want to do, though, in a really perverse, horrendous way. But that's terrible, really, isn't it? Is it? It shows them in a terrible light. Well, it's true, though. Emotional show-offs. Yes, yeah. emotional show-offs, yeah. Uh, but having a father's an actor as well, was that why you wanted to do what you do, or is that just a uh, coincidence? Um, yeah, I should imagine it probably is why I want to do what I do. So how old are you now, Kira? You shouldn't ask a lady how old she is. Well, you're is. only a, a kid. so I'm 22. Uh, and so you were born in the 80s? I was born in the 80s. Christ, that makes me feel ancient. <laughs> <laughs> and so how long have you been professionally working as an actor? Since I was 15. Well, well you really have churned them out, though, haven't you? Because you've made yeah. a lot of movies in that period. Well, yeah, I sort of started when I was seven, but I only did little things in the summer holidays. Okay. And then, 15, well, 16, I left school. Okay. And I have churned them out, yes. Uh, but I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean you really worked really hard. I mean, you know, you've, you've been, I would yeah. have thought, pretty relentless. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it, if it's offered to you, you might as well take it. Yeah, well, so if you want to do it. If you want to do it, yeah. Uh, we have a clip of you when you were very young in a... In a I'm not sure it was a oh, movie no, or made really? for TV thing now. Uh, it was, I think it was called A Royal Celebration. That was my... That's, I'm seven in this. You're seven then. years old. This was my it? first ever job when I was seven. Wow. Yeah, okay. thanks. Kira. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know, no one's going to judge you for when you were seven, but it's... Aren't they? No! <laughs> okay. Uh, so, this is Kira Knightley in, uh, what's it called again? A, a Royal, Royal Celebration. Celebration. Okay, uh, and uh, it's a good performance. I like thanks, it. Thanks, thanks. It's, it's nice. Come on. Oh, what is this? Just sit down. Look, I've watched this crap all morning. Shut up. Wait. Oh, look, what is this? Just take a look at this. History, but on some of the good and lasting things that so often get and forgotten in our anxious world. Just watch world. it. Hope, love, and new beginnings. It's why we always yeah, have and why we always Wait. And in wishing their royal highnesses the What am I meant to be seeing? Royal Look, it's coming. Life together. Here, 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 here. Oh, wow, is that it's it? Everybody's been waiting for. Look. Look, it's Dad there. Shit, it is Dad. Thank you for the performance. You say very much, no, did you didn't I? say much, but you were doing a lot I was of acting. Uh, did you? But you knew then that you wanted this to be your career, or was that your parents asked you to do that? How no, did that... no, I was um, I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was six, oh, really? and um, and this amazing guy called David Cooper, who was the headmaster at my school, said to my mum, "Look, you need to find a way of making her work. So give her what she wants." And uh, and I wanted an agent, so she got me an agent, and I was only allowed to oh, work. So how old were you when you said you wanted an agent? Apparently, I was three. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's what growing up with a dad who's an actor yeah, does. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Because I wouldn't even know about agents when I was... I don't think I knew what one did, really. I think they were just phoning the house and I wanted one. I have one who takes 15%. I don't know what he does. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lovely bloke. He's a very talented bloke. Um, now, you, you, you're wearing a beautiful... I believe you're wearing Chanel. This I evening. am wearing Chanel. Because you are involved with Chanel. Is this the whole... The, the, the perfume Chanel you're yeah. involved with, not the clothing? Or is no, it not the clothing. It's Coco Mademoiselle. Now, here's a beautiful picture of you looking beautiful. Again, it, with my clothes off. Well, kind of semi-off there. Yeah. Uh, and that's a bowler hat. Would you don't see bowler hats so much anymore. I, I've days. got a bowler hat. Have you? Well, I, I can see it. You're wearing yes, it in the wrong place. <laughs> uh, and this, this, as this photograph now, uh, sometimes I know they touch, they retouch photographs. They make people look curvier and different. Have they retouched that in any way? 
I don't know. I should think so. They normally retouch all of them. And in do some you have way. any say over that? Or you, you no. Don't? Okay, because we have one here which we were sent in by mistake earlier. And I oh, said, wow. well, that can't be. That's much better. It's not much better. No, it is. It's but much better. But one of the reasons why I love seeing you on screen is because <laughs> that you're, so many actresses these days have breasts that they've bought. You know what I mean? And they don't look like normal people anymore. A lot of young actresses, and I'm not going to ask you necessarily to get involved in this discussion, right. but you know what I mean? And I, I admire the fact that you have not. Well, have done not that yes. Breasts put in. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> is that the nicest thing that's been said to this you today? Absolutely. I'd like to congratulate thing. you for not having breasts put in. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that to come out the way you perhaps had it, but right, okay. you know what I'm saying. And there's a lot of pressure for performers to look a certain way and be a certain way, and you have resisted that admirably. Thank and I you. I suspect that's your upbringing as much as anything else. Absolutely. Okay. I, or, or maybe just a fear of having people stuff things in my tits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why that would bother one. Yes. Uh, Kira, it's been lovely to see you this evening. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the tournament. I think you and James together, you light up the screen. It's a great pairing. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in the next movie, even though it sounds just as heart-wrenching. I'd like you to make something a bit lighter in the near future okay, as well. I'll talk to possibly. Simon or maybe Adam about that then. Let's, put the, let's okay. have a threesome <laughs> in cinema terms. Uh, <laughs> lovely to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kira Knightley. Thank you, Kira. That was lovely. Are you going to stay for the music? Or? Thank you.